I'm Miss Snail Pail. I'm a snail abatement specialist, which when you break that down, I collect snails and now slugs so that then we eradicate them as a pest and we can reintroduce them as a food supply. I go to people's backyards, they call me up and they say they have an overwhelming you know, snail or slug problem and I come over and I start to collect them. Yeah, I find that usually, they, I mean, they come out shortly after it gets dark and um, I mean, actually, they could be out too in the morning. I mean, they're, they're night creatures. But I tend to find them under, especially if you like a lot of viney things, you know, not necessarily ivies too, but strawberry bushes. And certain plants, they love agapanthus and different plants. You could just, even in the day, they'll be hiding under the leaves of agapanthus so you can pluck them off while they're resting. Even if you look and Google everything or look online, you'll find that everybody who uses hand collection, it's the number one most effective way. And it's the sustainable way. Someone's gonna say this. So once I collect the snails and the slugs, I put them in a container and it can be really basic, like from a critter keeper at a local pet store to even a, a ceramic or a plastic base of a planter, you know, that you could put them in there with some screen over. I mean, you probably have something in your home that you can use. And with a little container of, say, cornmeal and water, I just let them be in there. And if it's going to be a few days, sometimes I mist them with a little water just to make sure they don't dry out. But the slugs, I've found you don't want to over mist them. They can't get too soggy. But a few days of that, I mean, between two and a week, that just makes sure that they haven't had a toxic dose of some kind of plant or they're just not about to die for some reason. Kill. After about a week, I throw them into boiling water for about four or five minutes. And then I, whether I puree them or saute them or cook them into something, that's the process. What's been really fun is how many people who are squeamish or think, I'll never eat snails, and then it's, I mean, even for myself, it was quite a step to go to slugs. But once I've gotten there, it seems like we all, you know, we all can start to realize that, yeah, what's our problem? Why would we be, if we can eat a mussel, an oyster, a clam, a scallop, no, I'm just kidding. Why not eat a garden mollusk? They sort of, they're like a muse for me, I would actually say, in my sort of artistic world, they have become a muse for cooking. Um, I decided to make this garden mollusk kima to explore just a little bit of Indian, but mixing it with fall and had this pumpkin. And the responses were, I'd say positive because everybody was, I think of the 15 people, almost everybody tried it, at least a bite, if not seconds. It's sort of like an, a, an easy sell somehow. Because I'm not really selling anything. It's historic old knowledge that's just been kind of ignored for a while.